The Salton Sea is part of a network of saline lakes and we've seen how birds are connected across these saline lakes. Places like the Great Salt Lake, Salton Sea, Owens Lake, Mono Lake, birds pass through this interior desert landscape. It's part of the Pacific Flyway and it's important places for these birds to stop and feed during their migration pathway. Starting in 2017, the sea is going to start to shrink more. Some of the water that comes here through the agricultural fields from the Colorado River is going to be diverted. And we're going to lose upwards of 40% of the water coming into the Salton Sea. And that's going to cause the sea to shrink. And when it shrinks, you get this exposed playa. And this is a very windy area. And what happens is the, the wind kicks through here and kicks up huge amounts of dust and that is already causing some major asthma problems in the region and it's only going to get worse. So right now I'm standing in the North Beach at the base of the North Beach Yacht Club. The Yacht Club was created in 1950 as a place for recreation, for sailboats, for sitting along the shorelines of the beach, for fishing, for bird watching. But today you don't see the boats out here. I can't see a single boat. You don't see the people lining the shoreline sunbathing. But what you do still see are the birds. Millions of birds migrate through here and it's become an integral part of the Pacific Flyway. So this sea supports over 400 species of birds and it's considered a globally significant important bird area. And when you think about it, a lot of the wetlands in California are now gone. And so over time from the 19, early 1900s onwards, a lot of the large bodies of water in California like Tulare Lake, the Sacramento Valley wetlands and even the Colorado River Delta were disappearing and at the same time this place was appearing on the landscape and so the birds found this place. One of the things I'm concerned about is the numbers of eared grebes are declining here and they're declining here because of the salinity levels and for other reasons we're not sure of and what we don't know is where are the eared grebes going. If they don't have the Salton Sea to come here in hundreds of thousands of numbers, where are the eared grebes going? So one of the birds that occurs here in really large numbers is a white pelican. There's one out here fishing right now. About 30% of the North American population of white pelicans spend the winter here, coming from places like the Great Salt Lake. They make this major journey across half of the United States and end up at the Salton Sea and spend the entire winter here. So the state has asked us to complete these habitat models and they'll be incorporated into the management plan so that there'll be a certain amount of acres that we hope will be permanently set aside and or created for the birds that need to have their habitats here. At the same time, our policy office is working on ensuring that there are solutions for the long term at the Salton Sea, and those include federal and state funding opportunities, so that as the sea recedes, there's funding available to create the types of habitats and control the dust that's very much needed.